Okay, hey guys, and welcome to today's video. I am talking very quietly because everyone's sleeping and I'm not. Um, because I'm feeling inspired right now, and that is why. So, I'm talking a little bit quietly. Um, for today's video, I'm my art is taking a turn. Um, surprisingly, um, I really don't have much else to say about it, only because I've been learning to draw eyelashes on my eyes realistically and stylizing them. Uh, I've been learning to stylize a lot uh, with my art, so let's take it a turn. Um, the reason I say take it a turn, I've been studying on uh, different makeup on Pinterest and realizing, you know, eyelashes can be really fun. So, I've been putting them on my female characters and coming up with different styles, how to stylize them. So my art could be changing drastically as I continue the process in the sketchbook because I think I'm going to be exploring different styles from different artists. Now, will I publish the work to different artists? No, because I don't want to copy or anything like that and I just want to take what I learn from different artists and apply it to my work um so I will be doing that but for today's video I thought it would be fun to explore some different styles different eyelashes how you do eyelash waves or um you know try drawing different styles how cartoony I could get how realistic or semi-realistic I can get um just exploring different um, styles. So that's what today's video is going to be about. And I thought that would be a fun adventure and we go on together. Now, but these two drawings right here, you can see it's a different style than what normally I would gravitate towards. Usually I'll go to semi with them, um, photo, really photo on the guard. But this one is kind of more on the semi with them darker edge to it. Uh, the reason I say darker, um, not, okay. I used to draw really bright chauffeur art. I still do. So if you subscribe to my channel for that, I'd say subscribe because I will be doing that more soon. Um, but you know, with studying different artists like Art Nouveau or something, I can't pronounce it. Art Nouveau, I think something like that. I want to get into that. Um, and just study different uh, areas of art and uh, for these two, go back to these two, uh, for these two, I was like, okay, I'm going to try and do the wing eyeliner on her and do really crazy makeup, really crazy eyelashes um, on her, but at the same time, it's, 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 her shirt needs to be a little bit black, uh, going for a darker, edgier look, that's why her lips are blue. Um, but it's like, you know, I want to get better at art and see how I want to stylize my female characters. Um, because female, I gravitate towards drawing male faces. Uh, if you guys have been with my channel for a while, you know that. But, um, I'm trying to go towards draw both genders. Um, so hopefully you guys can get a general idea on my art is taking. Now, for those of you who have been with my channel for a while, you know I've been drawing cartoons. I've gained back into them slowly. Um, so, it's just processing, getting used to a new style, um, and trying to get better with my art. I am taking Skillshare classes. Um, so, yeah. So, guys, give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe down below, turn the notification bell on so you won't miss the video. Um, so if you have any questions, if you guys want me to do future eye tutorials, I'll be happy to do, to do that. Um, it's just taking a while to learn. So, uh, thank you for watching. I really don't have much else to say from this point on. Uh, I'm thinking about doing two styles. I don't know what the styles are going to be, but this is one of them. So the other two, so basically three styles in this video I will be doing. So, um... I'm thinking of doing one of them with mermaids. Uh, I have to catch up because I'm falling behind. I'm not particularly... Let's talk about mermaid real quick. Uh, mermaid... I'm not really focused on mermaid as I was on the ink drawing challenge because mermaids 
they don't really excite me that much and I'm like really another challenge. I'm at that point now, like too many challenges going on to keep up with. So hopefully you guys understand if I don't post the mermaid drawing or something. I don't know. Um so anyways guys, thank you for watching. Click that notification bell down below. Why not pop in a comment or something and let me know what uh what you think of this new style. Uh thank you for watching. Let's get on with the video. Okay, hey guys, it's a little different video today than what I'm usually doing in today's video, and I have started it out a bit slow because now I'm looking for my reference and this uh, time frame. But I wanted to mention while we're waiting for the video to actually start um, a happy Mother's Day to everyone out there. Um, I know it's not Mother's Day yet, it's depending when I post this. But I am recording and editing this on Saturday. So if this is posted on Sunday, depending how late I could get this up on Saturday, uh, happy Mother's Day. So I am very thankful I do have a mom and she is amazing and she does a lot for the whole family and for me. And uh, happy Mother's Day, Mom. Uh, thank you for all you do and I'm very appreciative of you. Um, and to all the moms out there, and, uh, yeah, so this is my second year celebrating Mother's Day on YouTube for everyone, but, um, anyways, so, for today's drawing, I decided, you know, to switch up my style a little bit. Uh, I've been wanting to draw eyelashes on my female characters, and been taking... Uh, classes of Skillshare to improving my female characters and um, honestly I do not like this drawing. Um, yeah it's a little bit out of my comfort zone. Um, she, I don't know guys, I mean the lashes and the eyes are good but the mouth is just too big and to my liking. Um, I'm used to drawing smaller mouths for my cuter characters and um, this is just a little bit out of my comfort zone here, and I was going for more edgy style in this drawing, and it's just a little bit out of my comfy, so, um, I really don't have much else to say here, uh, for this drawing, except for I was trying to exaggerate the eyelashes a little bit, and I'm still trying to find my style with how I want to draw eyelashes, and this whole video is just a mess to me, and... Um, it's okay to have a video like that every once in a while, I guess, but, um, I really am not a fan of this drawing. Am I being too hard on myself? Probably, but, uh, you know, it's all about trying new things and getting out of your comfort zone with that. Um, so, speaking of out of comfort zone, female character for me, it's a little bit out of my comfort zone. I'm not gonna lie, um... Why is that? Because I usually gravitate joy male faces, man faces, and, you know, the chisel jaws. Um, so I kind of see that here, and, um, so, yeah, I'm doing this in watercolor, and at the end of the video, you'll see a better digital, uh, portrait, and it was actually one of the first portraits I've done in Procreate, um, that is colored, so... Uh, with that being said, we're about to head into that digital drawing in a minute. Um, but I wanted to talk about the eyelashes, how I'm going to be stylizing them. I really, I'm torn between wanting to do photorealistic art for my female, uh, characters. But I'm really nervous about that. I don't know if I could pull it off. I'm just very nervous about it. But, um, with this one, I'm a little better with the drawing portion. Um, does she look a little freaky to me? I think so, a little bit. I'm just not used to bigger eyes on female characters, and I'm probably being too hard on myself in this video. It's not that I'm being too hard on myself, it's just, I'm trying to, I'm trying too much, um, in one draw. I'm guessing, like, the female characters is not how I'm turning out, how I want them to be, um, but we're getting there slowly, and I feel like this is an improvement drawing, and uh, with that being said, because this is the first time for me coloring female characters uh, digitalized, um, 
no, I look like talking to myself. I was like, you know what? If I do watercolor paintings, you know, I bet you I could probably do a digital painting portrait just the same stuff. And how I choose my colors, I have the the color wheel and. I just really go for the lighter tones. I could have gone lighter with the portrait if I'm not mistaken. Uh, but I was like, okay, this is a good color. I'm just going to go with it and see what I can do. This definitely could be a lighter color. But I'm very overall happy with the portrait. Um, but this is definitely an improvement. Usually when I draw eyes, um, the iris is usually towards the left. Or, um, well, I should say not the whole iris. Um, to make the character cuter, you know, uh, I am learning to draw better noses, I will say that, and that button nose I've always wanted, and, um, been learning to draw that, and with the lips and mouth, it's a bit challenging, because sometimes I'm like, do I want realistic, or do I want cartoony, and I can't make up my mind, I think that's the issue here, so, I kind of wanted a cartoony, realistic, and cute at the same time, so it's like all style combined in one, but overall I'm pretty happy with this, and she's cute and everything, so I'm pretty happy with it, and uh, yeah, so I wanted to say again, happy Mother's Day to everyone out there, um, you know, if you celebrate, and uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe down below, turn the notification bell on, and I want to put music on the rest of this, and I hope you guys enjoyed today's video, bye guys.